because there's more houses, that ultimately brings in a lot more people. A lot more people then brings in much more traffic. So congestion has definitely been high. There's another 3,000 homes here, another 3,000 sites there. That has increased the amount of people trying to get on the freeway, and yet they've not really done anything with the infrastructure to assist that. My name's Dale Baxter. I've been living in Point Cook for seven years. My name is Rafiq and I've lived in Point Cook for 14 years now. Point Cook Road in particular, it's still single lane each way. Better ramp onto the freeway and dual carriageway would improve that particular area. Over morning time, you try and avoid it. If it's banked back, through that uh, section at Snides Road, it'll take me an extra 15 minutes. On average, it would take me about an hour to drive to work. To get to the freeway, it takes me about five minutes. Peak time takes me about 15 minutes. I do commute by train at Williams Landing Station. Uh, for me, public transport doesn't really work as I'd need to use a couple of different services to get where I was going. Improvements in around bike paths and accessibility and a lot of middle income people here who would be happy to ride to work. 23 kilometres really, it's maybe an hour ride. And, and potentially, you know, if you can pull another 10 to 20, 30 cars a day off the road, that's certainly going to help with the congestion on the other side of it as well. You know, to travel an hour home, you're not getting home till seven. Um, with a young family, a lot of the times they've already had dinner. It would be nice to be able to come back home in 20 minutes, 25 minutes, rather than waiting in traffic for about 50 minutes to an hour.